Corn procedure for Epstein's anomaly of tricuspid valve constructs a funnel-like valve using the native leaflets. This avoids the problems associated with artificial valves, including bioprosthetic valves, especially in children. In one study, Corn procedure group had 85% reduction in tricuspid regurgitation compared to 56% in the conventional group at discharge from hospital. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The corn procedure involves detachment of tricuspid leaflets, division of cordae, plication of the tricuspid annulus, rotation of leaflets, and final reinsertion of the leaflets in the modified tricuspid valve annulus. Since corn procedure has become an effective hemodynamic intervention for Epstein's anomaly, late mortality due to arrhythmias assume more importance. Periprocedural electrophysiological study and ablation of potential arrhythmic circuits have been suggested as a preventive strategy. This aggressive protocol documented significant electrophysiological findings in 69% including 8 patients in whom there was no prior suspicion of arrhythmia. 17 of these patients underwent catheter ablation while the remainder had intraoperative interventions. The strategy could prevent sudden death in those treated with this protocol. Real-time intraoperative 3D transesophageal echocardiographic guidance for cone procedure has been used successfully as in case of mitral valve repair. Here are a couple of important references, including the original publication from De Silva. Few more salient references for the topic. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.